Hello and welcome back to my channel and in this tutorial I will show you how you can make a simple uh, path that your enemy or player or whatever you have uh, can follow as the one you see here on the left where you have some different points and you can always as you see here to the right add more points that you need to follow. Yeah, let's get to it. So what I have here in my scene right now is only my main camera. We have, uh, in my case, uh, an enemy and we have a simple background. And the enemy, we do not have anything on it. It's a simple sprite. Um, yeah, and that's all. So now let's create the script and call this, uh, I will call it path. And let's open it up in Visual Studio. And now when it's open, we will need some reference points. And the first one we will need will be all the points that we need to follow. So here we need to make an array of points. After that, we will need a float, and this will be for the for the move speed. And then we will need a integer for our points index. And to see them in the inspector, we of course need to serialize field this up here, and we need to serialize field the next one as well. So now we have reference to all the points that we need. We have the movement speed, uh, how fast the character should move, and the points index will be um, so we can count the points that we have in the array. So when we start, then we want our transform.position, um, our object position, will go to the first point. So it will go to our points. And here we'll use the point index dot transform dot position. So when we start the game, it will go to the first point. So now in our update, we will need to say if our point index is greater or equal to our points dot length minus one. Then our transform.position will be equal to vector two dot move towards. And where do we want to move? We will take our transform.position and we will go to the points uh, point index. So we will go to the next point, and this will be the transform.position as well. And here we need our move speed and we need to multiply it with time dot delta time so it works in the same frame on all computers. Then we need to say if our transform dot position is equal to our points. Uh, points in here we need the point index as well dot transform dot position then we will need to say point index plus equal one so when we start the point index will be zero uh, and every time we get to the new point then our points will be increased with one so we know that the point index we are going to is yeah is the next one so it's increasing all the time and this will with with only this code the object will actually go from start to the end so let's save this and head back to unity now take your script drag it onto your player enemy or whatever you have now let's create an empty object and call these uh, the points that has to follow. 
make an empty object let's uh, give it a sign up here i will take the the yellow one if you can't see the sign when you are uh, all this little uh, dot when you are doing this then you have to press your gizmos and up here no, let me to go over here then you can scale all the icons up here if you can't see it uh, oh sorry yeah oh it's on now so now let's say the first point is here let's hit ctrl d to duplicate let's just move it like this like this and now on your enemy you can lock it up here in the right corner and then take all the points and move it to the point section and in my case the move speed will be 30 remember that uh, if you see the transform of all these is zero the points you need to be sure that it's on zero as well so now when you hit play your character should move between all the points but when you go, uh, go to the last point it will not start over so if you need that you can simply op open up the script again and here we will say if our point index is equal to the points dot length then our point index is equal to zero again so when we go to the last point the index will be zero and it will go to the first point again so now when we hit play again it will go to all the points and when it go to the last one it goes to the first one again yeah that was uh, what i had to show you in this tutorial thanks a lot for watching and remember if you want to see more videos from me please hit the like and subscribe button below thank you and see you next time